Hello everybody, welcome to Confederate Mining Company. What we're doing today is we've got some old tailing piles out of Cherokee County, South Carolina. They came from an old mine site and we're going to rerun them because back in the day nobody had metal detectors and stuff. These were probably ran back in the 1800s and uh, any gold that's locked up inside of the rock and the gravel is still in there and what we're going to do we're going to take them from the buckets we're going to run them through our crusher here when they come out of the crusher they'll be like a fine powder just like this in this bucket here this has been ran through this is one bucket that we ran through we're going to take them straight from here and put them on our shaker table and that'll give you your maximum goal release out of this tailing pile Okay, we just take the dirt and slowly put it into the shaker table. I'm putting it in dry. A lot of people say you're supposed to run it wet. If you put it in slow, it really doesn't matter. The shaker table will get it. It'll get it down to minus 100. And uh, what it does, it goes down the trough, comes across the shaker table. Your larger pieces, if there's any nuggets that come out on the screen here, go into this little side sluice. The lighter material washes down the table. The heavier material comes to the top, goes all the way across, and falls in these different troughs here. Your gold will go into the top trough. Your secondary material will go into here. There's still a lot of heavies. They could be a little larger pieces of gold that's not flattened out. They can actually get caught by the water and pushed into this. We always pan this down uh, when we're done running. We run over into a cup on the first one, into a pan on the second one. The third one here, we discard this. This lighter material at the very bottom is nothing but quartz and just a little fluffy sand. And that's, that's the way that the shaker table works.